Jess, love you, Jess, loves you. <clears throat> so, I've been making musical shorts for YouTube. <laughs> uh, I definitely do not have the best singing voice, but they're such good songs. And yeah, so. Uh, Like, I pray, I pray Jesus has me, and he'll direct me, and help me, but then I think about all the people around the world that need him, people who know they need help, like they need Jesus, well, some people, <laughs> there's people who know, alright, there's born again people, then there's people who aren't born again who know they need Jesus. Then there's people who just know they need help. Then there's people who don't think they need help. So there's everybody, but everybody needs Jesus. Everybody needs to be born again, which is just you stop running your life and you give your life to Jesus for him to run it. And uh, so we all need Jesus whether we know it or not, and he's the best, like he's the best, like a car runs on ga gasoline, a car runs on gasoline, and it just goes, like a car was made for gas, gas was made for a car, and it's amazing how it works, and we were made by Jesus and for Jesus, and Jesus wants us and loves us, the best decision anyone, the best decision you can make is to give your life to Jesus. It's the best ever. I've been through like hills and valleys and highs and lows, depression, anxiety, happiness and joy, like the whole spectrum of whatever since I gave my life to Jesus. And I wouldn't trade Jesus for anything. Uh, even the persecution, even the suffering, even the waiting, even the confusion. Like, I wouldn't trade Jesus for anything. And uh, even at my lowest low, I wouldn't trade Jesus for anything. And especially when I'm at a high, obviously I wouldn't trade Jesus for, any for anything. So, I've been saved for 12 years and like God is faithful for like for 12 years like highs and lows he's never left me and even before I was saved he was seeking after me and helping me and Jesus loves me Jesus loves you and like you have to make sure that he lives in you and he's not just with you and that's done by giving control of your life to Jesus. And it, when people have to realize when they feel something on their heart, like I feel something on my heart, I'm convicted of sin or I'm worried about hell or you feel the love of Jesus. All of that is the Holy Spirit working on your heart. Like I don't know if I'm saved. I'm scared. Like, you go to Jesus for all of that. So when you feel like something needs to change, I need something, I need Jesus, and you feel that on your heart, that's the Spirit of Jesus, the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> so people, people might be confused by invite Jesus into your heart because you're like, how can a person, how can a person come into my heart? But when you realize, like, I have a spirit, you have a spirit, Jesus has a spirit, it's the Holy Spirit. So a spirit is invisible, so my spirit is inside me and it's invisible. And Jesus has a spirit, the Holy Spirit, he's invisible. And he comes to live inside you and he connects with your spirit. That's how you know you're going to heaven is because the spirit of Jesus is connected to your spirit and it's a radical transformation. Your whole life changes 
and God has to do it, so you pray for it. Jesus, help me give you my life. And once you're connected with the Spirit of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, once His Spirit and your Spirit become one, like, there, it's it's set forever. Like, there's no going back. You don't want to go back. It's amazing. And you're going to be in heaven for all of eternity. So, <laughs> Um, have a godly great day. If it's not godly, it's not great. Love you, Jesus loves you. Give your life to Jesus. Love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus.